Hi kids, it's Bunny again with another junk journal. And this one I call Derby Days. And it's uh, about not only the Kentucky Derby, but other horse races and the people who go there and women with big hats, mint juleps and oh yeah, horses too. And um, it is a uh, hardcover. And uh, pretty roses, run for the roses on the cover. And a picture of thoroughbreds. <laughs> and we have a little charm, a little, uh, a little uh, horseshoe charm which attaches to the bow, and I'll remove it so that we can remove the bow. It's just a pretty silk sash holding it together. And let's look inside. Inside we have Hustled cards. Okay, inside we have um, there are uh, beautiful pictures of horses throughout illustrations by Uaza Design on Etsy. <clears throat> That's what that is. And in this lace pocket we have a journaling card which is blank on the back for journaling. And a tag. Most tags are blank on the back for journaling. This one also has a extra pocket with a bit of uh, vintage ephemera in it. And here's a small envelope with a little uh, um, sticker, a little rose sticker for you to use. And in this little envelope is a letter about this journal, which tells you what junk journals are and how they can be used. And um, the plain pages are coffee dyed. And here's the first tuck has um, journaling cards and another tag with another little pocket with uh, vintage ephemera in it. And there's lace on the edges of a lot of these pages. This is a um, page from a 1897 book about Dante and this is um, vintage sheet music Mother McCree I'm not sure the year or anything but it's vintage and this is some faux wallpaper it's not real wallpaper but it looks like it here's some coffee dyed um, square um, doily and here is some handmade paper with pretty flowers in it. This is a um, page from another um, vintage book. I believe this one was uh, in the 50s. And in this pocket, which is made from fabric, is um, a vintage playing card. Another little envelope with a vintage page from a miniature vintage dictionary and a journaling card. And here is some vintage ephemera, an order blank. I'm not sure of the year, probably the 20s or before judging from the date of the other ephemera that I got with it. 
Here's a page um, by, um, um, <clears throat> well, now I've gone and forgotten her name. But you all know who she is. She's famous. <laughs> I'll think of it later. And the horse has his eye on you. Here's a little fabric ruffle. Uh, here's the other side of um, that page by the artist whose name I can't remember. Because I'm on camera, that's why. And here we have a little tuck with a teeny weeny little envelope. And inside that teeny weeny little envelope is a... Uh, or a couple of vintage foreign postage stamps and there's some journaling cards made a pretty tag blank on the back for journaling more of the handmade paper so pretty the doily have little clusters and things throughout, little details for you to check out. And in this tuck, there is a miniature, uh, miniature junk journal. It's a little tiny notebook you can jot ideas down in. Journaling card and tag. Here is some papyrus, which is an interesting material, kind of stiff. I thought it was very interesting. In this tuck is um, some vintage ephemera ticket. And journaling card, and here's just a pretty envelope with a little journaling card in it. And a tag. Here is a page from a yearbook, uh, 1929, I believe, is the date on it, complete with uh, signatures. Here is a page from a vintage ledger. And this is more handmade paper, different type, doily. Here is uh, some reproduction French. Uh, music paper. It's not genuine vintage. In this little bag we have a vintage flash card and a journaling card. Um, this pocket you can pull down open to uh, have some extra journaling space. And we have some more vintage ephemera, a receipt, um, 1899, I believe, from Victor Stove. That's genuine ephemera, vintage. And in this tuck, we have another envelope with more of the, another page from the vintage miniature dictionary and some pretty journaling cards. There's a page from another vintage book about uh, caravans. I, I believe it was 1897 date also for that book and in this pocket is a vintage photograph some people enjoying the spring weather come up and see us sometime it says in this tuck here is a vintage uh, very pretty vintage postcard 1907 
I acquired recently. I really like that. It's very colorful. And some journaling cards. Another uh, ruffle, fabric ruffle. More of that ledger. More of the yearbook. Um, here's another pullout that you can write on. Attached to the papyrus, which I'm not sure if you can write on, but you can give it a try. In this tuck, it's another pretty journaling card. A um, tag with a little a vintage ephemera in the pocket and here is uh, more vintage ephemera the cover from a top value stamp saver book not sure what area of the country that is from some coffee dyed paper more vintage book pages and in this side pocket is a uh, another small uh, miniature um, journal notebook. You can jot your thoughts down in. And have I remembered her name yet? I have not. Okay. Onward. More vintage music paper. Handmade paper. Here's a page from a um, shorthand book. And in this tuck is a, a funny picture of a tall lady and a small jockey. And more journaling cards and tags. more faux vintage wallpaper there's journaling cards and here's a vintage letter um, I forget what date it's from 1928 maybe and it's a real letter from a guy to a gal and you'll be interested in reading that Am I still in frame? Yes. Barely. What is her name? I'm going to look. Edith. Edith Holden. Jeez, why couldn't I remember that? Edith Holden. Okay, where was I? Yes. Edith Holden is the name of this wonderful artist and naturalist. Here is um, a piece from um, Sari from India. Lovely embroidery. In this pocket, which I... Uh, no, that's not what I'm... That's not what I was thinking. But in this pocket is... Uh, you can see more journaling cards and another small envelope and I think this one has a uh, sticker in it mint juleps can't have a race without mint julep more journaling cards kissy kissy and a tag There's some more papyrus, more of the 1929 yearbook, uh, the faux French uh, music. Here's another fabric ruffle and a ledger. Here's a little bag with 
uh, a miniature envelope that has um, foreign vintage postage in it and here is a vintage cabinet card a fine upstanding gentleman who probably enjoyed the races there's some handmade paper and here are more journaling cards it's a vintage ticket and a vintage uh, receipt from the Schofield Corporation. Another little bag with a couple of journaling cards in it showing the fashion of the day more fashions of the day the vintage another vintage ticket and another uh, tag that has some vintage ephemera in a little pocket on the back Um, this is a pocket that I made using a used tea bag. That was fun to work with. Journaling cards. And a tag. And that brings us to the back where we have a couple of journaling cards. And a vintage photograph of some students enjoying the day and that brings us to the end of Derby Days and I hope you'll visit my shop Treasure Journals on Etsy and learn more about this and we'll see you next time have a good day